Hi, I'm Bernard Nomberg with the Nomberg Law Firm in Birmingham, Alabama. And I want to talk about drug screening, drug testing, after a person is injured while on working on the job in Alabama. When are those occasions then they can be drug screened and what are the parameters and so forth? Well, after almost every on-the-job injury, an accident that leads to injury, it is standard practice that a drug screen is performed as soon as practical on the injured worker. The reason being is, is for the obvious, determine whether or not the injured worker was impaired at the time of the accident. That could be a defense to any work comp benefits, meaning if, they, if their being impaired created the accident event or did not allow them to make certain decisions that would have prevented injury or accident, those are all factors whether or not benefits should or could be paid under the Alabama Work Compact. Another occasion where drug screening comes into play is sometimes during what we call the healing process. During that time period after the accident and the injured worker is receiving medical care through work comp benefits, at any point in time the insurance company can request a drug screen to be performed. Also the treating doctors, if they uh, suspect something is not right, something suspicious about the medical care or response by the injured worker are all occasions when an injured worker can be subjected to a drug screen. If they refuse to undergo that screen without reasonable uh, reason for doing so or legitimate reason for not taking the test, those work comp benefits can be suspended. These scenarios are, are different. It, it depends on all types of scenarios, but these can be very serious in that benefits can be taken away for various reasons. If you have this question, concern, or situation, just give us a call. 205-930-6900 is our office number. Nomberglaw.com is our website. Subscribing to our YouTube channel will ensure that you get videos as they come out.